My name is Alan Hawes, and this is PSOC 101. Now I'm going to show you how to toggle pins using the programmable digital hardware provided inside of the PSOC. Again, with no C code at all. As usual, make a copy of the last project. Now delete the wires and add an inverter to the input pin. This is so you can get a positive transition when you press the switch. Now search for and add in a toggle flip-flop. Wire up the NOT gate to the clock input of the toggle. This will toggle the output every time you press the switch. Place a logic high onto the T input terminal to enable the flip-flop. Finally, wire the output back to the LED pin and then program your kit. This design is a little more complex than the ones you're used to and you may find that you connect something incorrectly. That's not a problem. To fix that, all you need to do is make what we call a breaking move on the wire. Normally, when you move a component around, the wire follows the terminal so that the connection is not broken. If you press the control key before clicking on the component, it does a breaking move and leaves the wire behind when you move the component. This is a great way to correct wiring quickly. You can also select individual wire segments and then delete them and then redraw them with the wiring tool to get your circuit connected correctly. The red LED toggles when I press the button. Go back to the schematic and add another flip-flop for the green LED. Use the output from the first flip-flop to clock this one. This makes the second LED toggle at half the rate of the first. When you program this design, it cycles through four states, off, red, green, and yellow, which is the combination of the red and the green LED together. Please do this project for yourself as you can practice wiring things up and making more complex designs. Try taking this design and adding in another flip-flop to control the blue LED and make the program cycle through eight states, off, red, green, yellow, blue, magenta, cyan, and white. Don't forget to enable the hardware connection in the blue LED or you'll drive yourself crazy trying to make it toggle. As always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com.